Purdue fought back to tie it up now and can win it with a final shot. That game was a big game for me. The first game against Ohio State was probably the, the worst game in my opinion. You know, my mom says it wasn't because I just came off an injury, but I feel like, hey, I'm back, so like I gotta perform. Now we are at 10. Ivy. It was another crack to show people that I'm a real player. Step back, deep three. Oh my goodness! Triple time! Jaden Ivy! It kind of showed his youthfulness. The play was for him to drive the ball. And so, you know, he stopped, crossed over, and knocked that down. And I think it gave him a lot of confidence. Now Amori has it taken away! It shows you at that time that, you know, he can do a lot of different things. Ivy uncontested! Whoa! Man, there is no ceiling for him. He's out to hunt. You know, that, that's him. That's his mentality. He's out, to, he's out to go get one. You need people like that on your team. Shot clock dwindling Ivy. Wow, that was pretty, huh? Yes, it was. He's going to continue to improve. I think he's a huge aspect of our team. He brings, he brings that speed and that aggressiveness to our team that I think we lacked the last couple of years. There's the answer from the talented sophomore, Jaden Ivy. I have that dog in me. I feel like I've, I've always had it. I, that's one thing I, you know, I want to bring to the court is, you know, my intensity and fierce competitiveness. He's easy to coach because he likes basketball. Guys that love the game of basketball want to be coached. Anytime there's failure or something happens, like, you know, he's easy to redirect. If it's in the game, let's make an adjustment from game to game. If it's afterwards, and he's always receptive to that. I just want him to be present with his team, continue to work the way that he's worked before, continue to have the same grind and passion that, that he shows and that he showed last year. Oh boy, Ivy, Ivy, Ivy! <laughs> Jaden has a lot of confidence, which I love, because he works and he prepares himself. So if you're prepared, confidence goes along with that. Look at Ivy, oh my! I think his confidence is a little bit more than I had. <laughs> and then, I wish I had his athleticism as a player. <laughs> 15 footer is good for Neil Ivy. But I think his passion is like me. I didn't like to disappoint. I was always trying to do things the right way for my coaches. Um, I wanted to make them proud, and I feel like Jaden's the same way. It's easy recruiting somebody that one of their parents is a coach because they're in your position a lot. And, and so, like, you're, you know, you're talking the same language. So that was with Niel, it was very, very easy because... Good job, y'all. Way to work. That's what she does for a living, too. Go, get there! Let's go, energy! Here we go! Good, that's better! Good shift! Nice. Well, I introduced Jade into basketball by, by playing pregnant. My rookie season with the Indiana Fever, playing professionally in the WNBA, I would bring him in after games, you know, him being a baby. He was always at the games, hanging around my teammates, being able to come to practices, going on the road, being on the bus. So he's grown up on the court. When I was at Notre Dame, even before Notre Dame, my memories start of Jaden because I got recruited by Neil. Stolen by Notre Dame and Skylar Diggins takes it the rest of the way. She was my position coach, so we spent hours on the court, off the court watching film. Sometimes me and Jay would play one-on-one -on, -one on the court. I remember him being, you know, this is when he was smaller. He wasn't the 6'5", the, 6'6", the six, six, six Jay with his frame that he is now. He was just literally like my little brother. You know, when me and Neil would do some of our individuals, I can remember him being in the gym, shooting on the other side, mirroring some of the stuff we was trying to do. Jaden has always been around a team. You know, he's always been around good teams. The most important thing is that environment. And then you have someone to lean on. Just happens to be your mom. She's also a really successful player and a really successful coach. And I think it's kind of cool. It's not too many kids that get to see amazing women each and every day. And, you know, at a young age, you know, I was able to, you know, be around greatness. Skylar Diggins was one. She's from my hometown. I've always looked up to her. 
um, and you know, just so many amazing women. Enrique Ngumbuale, um, Jill Lloyd, Natty Lachamwa, um, Devereaux Peters, Kayla McBride, they all helped shape me because, you know, I watched their greatness. I used to go to the practices, you know, from, shoot, 11 to 2, um, you know, every day. It was just, just amazing to be around their presence, to be honest. That's what's up. Y'all not gonna make me cry on this camera right now. That's respect. Jay, you know I love you. Um, no, it's so true. He's, he's been around, you know, ever since he was so young, and I'm just so proud of him. I'm proud of you, Jay. I love you.